This week, my students studied noun clauses. I'll show you what a noun clause is and how you can use it. Just like other clauses, a noun clause has to have a subject and a verb. Noun clauses often begin with question words such as what or where or when or why and many noun clauses begin with that. Where is he? Here's a question with the verb coming before the subject and this is a question word. If I ask the question, do you know where he is, the subject comes before the verb. This part doesn't form the question, but this part does. Here's the helping verb, here's the subject, and then here's the main verb. This is the noun clause. Noun clauses are often parts of sentences or questions. If I start with, I don't know, instead of, do you know, I can say, I don't know where he is. And this is a statement starting here. Here's the helping verb and here's the main verb. And here is the noun clause. I don't know where he is. Don't say, I don't know where is he. That's not correct. When did they leave? Do you know when they left? Here's the noun clause. This forms the question. That's why there's a question mark here. And Here's the noun clause referring to this question. Notice in the question, here's the helping verb, and then here's the simple form for the main verb. But in the noun clause, you have the subject, and then this is the past tense, because the question was asked in the past tense. If you start with, I don't know, or I'm not sure, I don't know when they left. The noun clause in the statement here is the same as the noun clause in this question. This is what forms the question, and this begins the sentence, I don't know. Do you know who she is? This question is really in two parts. Here forms the question, and this is the noun clause. This is the helping verb. Here's the subject. Here's the main verb. And all of this functions as the object for the first part of this question. We could replace this with her. Do you know her? Instead, you can use a noun clause. Do you know who she is? This is the subject. This is the verb. Altogether, this forms the object for the first part of this question. I know who she is. This is in two parts. This begins a statement. And this is still the noun clause. Notice that the noun clauses here and here are the same, same order. This is the subject, this is the verb, and all of this is functioning as the object. We could replace who she is with the pronoun her. I know her, or I know who she is. Noun clauses often use question words. Here, we'll use what and why. He doesn't remember what he did. Here's the first part of the statement, 
And then here's the noun clause. This is the subject, this is the verb, and this word introduces the noun clause. We don't know what this is. You could also put the noun clause at the beginning of the statement. What he did. All of this functions as the subject for the sentence. This is the subject and this is the verb. This is singular and this is singular. In this first sentence, this is functioning as the object. He doesn't remember what he did, or you could replace this with the pronoun it. He doesn't remember it. Here the noun clause begins the sentence. What he did was wrong. It was wrong. What he did was wrong. No one knows why he did that. Here's the first part of the sentence. Here's the subject. Here's the verb. And why he did that is the noun clause. It's good that you are studying English. Do you see where the noun clause is? It's right here that you are studying English. Here's the subject and then this is the verb for the noun clause. Here's the subject and the verb for the entire sentence. You could take this and begin a new sentence that you are studying English. So here's the noun clause in the position of the subject and then we just need a verb. It would be this verb is good. That you are studying English is good. It is represented by this noun clause that you are studying English. It is good or that you are studying English is good. This is a harder sentence to make, but I think you should know how to do both. Ending the sentence with the noun clause or starting the sentence with the noun clause. Noun clauses often provide information about why a person feels a particular way. She's disappointed. Why is she disappointed? The noun clause explains why. She's disappointed that she didn't get a good grade. Here's the noun clause. This is the subject. Here's the main verb, and then this is an object. This is also an object. You could eliminate this and say, she's disappointed she didn't get a good grade. But I think it's a good practice for you to use that. And then later, you can decide for yourself if you want to use that for the beginning of the noun clause. It's possible to replace that with because and the meaning is almost the same. She's disappointed because she didn't get a good grade. I know that is difficult. Here's the noun clause. I know that that is difficult. Here's the noun clause, and here the word that introduces the noun clause. This does happen sometimes. You could replace that with this. I know that this is difficult, but sometimes this would be the choice for the noun clause. I know that that is difficult. 